Welcome Nerf Nation to another amazing Nerf review. Today, we're not looking at a Nerf Blaster. Boo, dislike the video. That's probably like the least professional intro I've ever done. Welcome everybody to Nerf Boy Productions. Today we are gonna be taking a look at the Toys R Us Pets Ball Launcher. Saw this thing in PetSmart. It's spring action, okay, and it shoots tennis balls. I consider it a Springer Blaster, but it it's really cool, okay? There's lots of Nerf Wars that use um, different types of ammunition, like uh, a lot of times they'll use darts, but also socks. So if you tag someone with a sock, that also counts. I feel like there's a lot of times where tennis balls would actually be something cool to tag people with, or you could definitely rig to uh, put different kind of things in here, and uh, it may just be a really cool spring action launcher. So I decided we would take a look at this. I understand that it's not much because I have videos every single Saturday. It's not a lot because um, it's not really a Nerf Blaster. So I'm going to have another video coming out sometime later in the week. And uh, I'm sorry if I'm a little weird and off in this video. I just got out of my MSF training, which is like motorcycle safety. It was from 8.30 in the morning till 5 p.m. And uh, it was raining the entire time. So I was cold, wet, drenched. And... Uh, I'm very tired. Okay, so let's first off start by taking a look at the box. As you can see here, Toys R Us Pets. So I guess they have a Pets line, which is pretty cool. Uh, the ball launcher, trigger action, interactive play, hands-free pickup. So I guess the idea is you can stomp this down and pick up the balls. Comes with the tennis ball and it stores them there as well as in the front. On the back it says, treat your furry friends to Toys R Us Pets today. Our colorful and whimsical toys are designed with a stimulating variety of textures, shapes, and sounds for tons of tons of fun. Okay, there's instructions on the back actually, which you can just read out if you really care. So with that being said, I'm just going to go ahead and cut out everything. We actually need a screwdriver to undo this. That is so weird. Okay, so the blaster's free now. As you can see, the tennis ball actually, it's uh, bigger on this side, so it actually only pops in one way. Fits in really nicely. Oh, there's even a zip tie to cut here. Did not see this. Okay, so to load this, what? Oh my gosh. Oh, this is cool. So this thing actually has a bunch of different um, amounts of power. So that's one, two, Three. Oh my gosh, I wouldn't even want to shoot this. That's its biggest extension possible. That is some some far ranges. I'm not even gonna test that. If you want to deep prime this thing, um, you can pull back on this and then pull the trigger and then slowly release it down. So when you go to push this on the ground to uh, pick up the balls, you actually have to prime it back first and then you'll be able to put them in. Otherwise you can't. Okay, so, uh, not much to the unboxing of this thing, but I really want to see how far it shoots these and as well uh, test it out for dogs. So, let's go do that. Hey, Charlie! What's this? Hey, is it doggy approved? You want it? Okay, there's one thing we gotta do, Charlie. Hold on, hold on, hold on, you're crazy. Charlie, this is what you want. We can't just give it to you. We need to put it in this thing. Now we shall shoot it. Are you ready, Charlie? Go get it! Charlie, you didn't even see it fire. I don't know, maybe it depends on the dog you have. Mine's not the smartest to realize it's shooting the ball. I'm gonna start at a lower power so he can actually see it flying through the air. Now that you understand, okay, you also wanna make sure your dog is good at retrieving things. My dog loves fetch. At least half of it. He loves to go get stuff and never bring it back. All right, dingus dongus, now that you know this shoots the balls. You ready? Oh, it went under the, almost went under the fence. You found it. You found it. You guys get to hear my dog voice. Charlie. <laughs> I never do that on film. You look excited, but I think it's mainly because of the tennis ball. I think the verdict is you can throw a tennis ball farther than this will shoot it. You have to prime this thing to pick them up anyways. Uh, it costs a lot of money. It's cool, but I don't know. It's like for the ultimate lazy person, but that's for dogs. 
And we're not reviewing this product here on Nerf Boy Productions for dogs. As great as you are, you can have fun with your tennis ball. We are here for a far greater purpose. We're here to see if this thing is great for Nerf. So, one last time, we'll put the ball in. We're gonna do full prime, and we'll shoot it to see how far this is gonna go. All right. Not bad. It went all the way to the house and knocked into the wall. Hey, that's pretty good. So, this thing would be cool for Nerf, and it's not that cool for dogs. It's a pretty lazy contraption, but it's a cool gun if you want to rig it to shoot other things. Uh, I love the fact that it's actually not spring-powered, it's elasticated. I find that really awesome, and I can only imagine the things you could shoot out of this. It's literally a big ramrod. So whatever you want to put in this and then it'll just fire it out. So that, I think that's pretty cool. We can test it with some objects. Got a little box here. You see what I'm saying? You could literally shoot anything out of this. Yeah, this thing is a very cool Nerf blaster. Uh, so that's my thoughts on it. I don't know what your thoughts on it are. Is it cool? I saw it at PetSmart and I was like, hey, that's pretty good. So like I said, I'll have another video for you guys out later this week, but I've had a really busy weekend and uh, this is what I got for you. I hope you enjoyed, you know what to do. If you're new to the channel, there's new videos every single Saturday. Hope you guys enjoyed. As always, this was Nerf Boy Productions, signing off.